Hello, my beautiful and talented people. Thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and booking readings. I appreciate you all. I am doing a giveaway at 11,000 subscribers. Just make sure that you are subscribed and you comment if you want to be in the running for that. Today, we're asking, what do you need to know right now? We have pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. Take a moment and figure out which one feels right to you. And if you do want to book with me, my email is in the description right below the timestamps. So, for my gorgeous pile number ones. Pile number one, my gorgeous angels, my beautiful darlings. What do you need to know right now? We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Justice card. We have the Six of Coins. You are going to be able to release something and find justice. Queen of Cups. This is about emotional maturity, emotional intelligence. I feel like you've been holding some sort of burden, holding on to something very heavy, but this is the major arcana justice card. This is the minor arcana justice card. The scales are going to balance in your favor. Ten of Wands. Devil. Maybe you have been holding on to a person, place, or thing that has been unhealthy for you. Um, maybe you have had some kind of struggle with obsession um, or something that you have been connected to that has not been helpful for you. Or you may have simply just had somebody that, yeah, created some kind of unhealthy connection with you. Again, this could be a person, place, or thing. This could be a job. This could be a friendship. This could be a romantic relationship. This could be your own struggle with... On, uh, things that feel good but aren't healthy. But clarity on justice. Three of Swords. Interesting. We have heartbreak. There may be some kind of justice for some heartbreak that you have received. We have the Page of Swords. I feel like it is important to... Maybe observe who has who is being generous, who is being given, who has who has been being giving. I feel like or there might be a need for you to have kind of a clear observation and outlook with your own generosity. Clarity on the Queen of Cups. Clarity on the Queen of Cups. The Emperor. The Emperor is somebody that is able to create a lot of change in their physical existence by doing some kind of work for it, by taking some sort of action towards it. So I, I do think that you might be being asked to be emotionally intelligent in the actions that you take. What do you need to know right now? Pile number one, what do you need to know right now? We have the King of Swords. The King of Swords is somebody that's, when they're in the upright position, is somebody who... Acts with honesty, clarity, justice. 
Does seem like there's some kind of heartbreak here, so we're going to get some clarity on the Three of Swords. There is maybe going to be a need for you to act on something that is fair. Because we have now the, the king, the knight, and the page of swords. This is about clarity. This is about communication. The king of swords is somebody that... When it's in uh, when it's in the upright position, cares a lot about honesty, cares a lot about justice. Do feel like you're going to get justice, but I also think that there's a need to like take action on what is just. We have the Seven of Pentacles. There maybe has been some kind of weight, um, but there is there is some potential future harvest. That is going to evolve some kind of cooperation, some kind of collaboration. Six of Swords. You are moving on to calmer waters. You are receiving justice. I feel like you may be releasing things. That maybe you are attached to, but maybe don't really truly give you value what do you need to know right now pile number one choose happiness constantly I think that you will be choosing happiness moving away from dramatic turmoil moving towards some kind of cooperation demonstrating strength power self-control there may be something in your life you are going to have to ex exhibit some sort of self-control regarding we have psyche persistence keep trying Even if you're not perfect at it right away, I, I feel like right now is about strength, persistence, choosing the road that will make you happy. Tears are what happens when the ice in the heart melts. We have grief. It does feel like you may end up grieving something that you will be moving your energy away from. You may be grieving something as you move your energy towards something that is better. You may be grieving an attachment. but not a healthful one. So if you you need permission to just move forward to have strength, I feel like whatever you're whatever you're struggling with, you have the power. Um but there's going to be moments where you might miss it. There are going to be moments where, you know, you can get stuck. But I think what you have an opportunity for is real happiness. What you have an opportunity for is, and it's, it's worth working towards that. We have Wonder Woman, which is about strength and power and the right use of that power. We have health with our little veggie. Uh, so health and growth. So I feel like you're going through some kind of stage of health and growth. But it also means that not, 
you know, like this is a little bit of a transition away from things that aren't as helpful for you. We have the owl, which is about wisdom. So the owl is about wisdom. The owl is about applied knowledge. I see that there's some kind of applied knowledge with strength and persistence that is going to help you overcome something that maybe has a little bit of a hold on you. And is going to give you a passionate, creative, new beginning. So I think there are some things that you are going to have to power through. I think that there are maybe some things that you, I feel like along the way you are going to be occasionally tempted by something that is not entire, that isn't good for you. But I see you on the road to health. I see you on the road to growth. And I see that your persistence and your strength will matter. But there may be some, some grief, there might be some heartbreak. I wish you the absolute best. Thank you so much. I deeply appreciate you. If you want a free reading, I'm giving away two as soon as I hit 11,000 subscribers. Just make sure you're subscribed and you comment and you're in the running for that. It's time for pile number two. What do you need to know right now, pile number two? What do you need to know right now? Strength. Feel like right now is a time for self-control personal power, courage, the Hierophant. The Hierophant is a spiritual card, but it is also about rules and hierarchy. Um, it can be, it can be about societal expectations. Oh, we've got the three of swords. And we have the nine of cups. Good news. There's personal fulfillment available. Bad news. There has been some kind of heartbreak. Clarity on the three of swords. However, despite what heartbreak that you have experienced, there is going to be an ability to move forward, to progress towards some kind of ultimate success. And again, heartbreak does not necessarily mean romantic. It can be heartbreak on a goal or anything that hurts, but even if you've dealt with some pain, Wish fulfillment, success. Certainly don't let the heartbreak you have experienced get in the way of the success that is, oh, that you're already in momentum for. Feel like we need to talk about the Hierophant, clarity on the Hierophant, the sun. So the sun is happiness, joy, wish fulfillment. Well, it's it's more success. It's like it's the happiest card of the deck. Like blessings for you, happiness for you. I feel like your energy is moving in a much happier direction. But I think that it is going to take some strength. It is going to take some kind of self-control on your part, but a new beginning that can be built into something that is very secure for you. Clarity on the Nine of Cups. Ooh, we have the Devil again. Sorry, the Devil was coming up in some of the, in the last pile. So, the Devil is about 
connection, attachment, but ones that are not entirely healthy. Um, it can also be about being stuck, being restrained. Um, it can be about obsession. The upside is, while that is not an ideal card, neither is the Three of Swords, most of your cards are actually moving towards... Now, this can be an indulgence card. The Devil it can be indulgence as well. I'm going to get a little bit more clarity on that. But I feel like overall things are trending in the right direction, in a good and healthy direction, but you do need to be aware that there can be things that are temptations for you. Um, we have the Knight of Cups. Now, it could be that you might get some kind of romantic offer from somebody that's, you know, ha you have an attachment to, but not a healthy one. Or I feel like for a lot of you, I feel like you are choosing your own happiness and moving forward emotionally. From things that are unhealthy for you. What do you need to know right now? What do you need to know right to, uh, now? Two of Wands. You are at a crossroads. And a crossroads that absolutely can lead you to success, but there is some kind of potential heartbreak on that crossroad as well. You have the Knight of Swords. I feel like there is a need to take some kind of logical action. Ooh, and we have the Five of Wands. Five of Wands is conflict. Five of Wands can be inner conflict or conflict with other people. This is going on top of like a, a steady, stable new beginning. Strength. So I don't know if you are currently going through some conflict or maybe you have some inner conflict. But, but I think that being brave is worth it. And you are worth it. You have been worthy to belong to love all along without any need to improve. In fact, you are love itself. So I feel like there might be some personal embrace of your own worth. And as I said that there was a lot of heat that went in my heart space and between my shoulder blades. Walk your truth. I feel like there's a journey of embracing your worth and really authentically showing up and acting as your authentic self individuality it looks like you're on some kind of road to personal happiness individuality authentic action choose happiness constantly it seems like you are on this road to happiness but I think that this happiness is going to be through self-worth it's going to be through authentic action it's going to be through you being you we have the cold heart Again, there was some heartbreak here. There was some kind of, with the devil, some maybe unhealthy attachment. What about the cold heart? We have the horn of plenty. So again, moving towards something that is more plenty. We have the key to abundance. 
and we have kind of a wry, crooked smile. We have uh, the Knight of Swords. I don't know, maybe you've been dealing with somebody who, like, hasn't been very caring in their actions. Want anything more? We have the Hierophant. So there's some kind of rules, there's some kind of hierarchy. And there may be some kind of, like, coldness in that hierarchy. Is there anything more? Just feel like there's something more in that that I should pull out. Ten of Wands. This is something that has been a burden, but it's also something that can be released. As much as the Ten of Wands is not an entirely fun ending, it is one where releasing. It's, it's a burden that's held, but a burden can be released. Still an end. So I think that you're on this journey of personal happiness, and along the way you may have to release some things that don't serve you anymore. But it looks like it is for your own worth. for, And it does look like you have some very... You have some questions about like the actions that you're going to take moving forward. But it does look like there's abundance for you. I feel like as long as you aren't betraying yourself, you're on the right path. As long as you're choosing your authenticity, your individuality, your own happiness, you're on the right path. So I hope that this helps you. If you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two as soon as I hit 11,000 subscribers. Just make sure you're subscribed and you comment if you want to be a part of it. Thank you again to everybody who has been liking, sharing, subscribing, booking readings. It all matters, and I appreciate you all. And it's time for... A gorgeous pile number threes. My beautiful angels. What do you need to know right now? What do you need to know right now? Oops. Or what do you need to know right now? We have the seven of cups. Right now, you have a lot of opportunities, but you should also make sure that you're seeing things clearly. Because not every opportunity is going to be something that you want to take. I feel like there's a need to make a wise decision with the opportunities that you have in front of you. I feel like there's a need to know what you want for the long term. Because Three of Wands, it's about taking actions, manifesting those things to come in later. So just know that your, your actions are going to be pretty consequential at this moment. You need to know what you want so you can bring what you want to you. However, if you choose wisely, you will be met with success. The best possible end to a cycle. Graduation. Ooh, and we have the Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords is the Queen of Mind, the Queen of Communication. Sometimes the Queen of Boundaries. So I feel like while you may not want to make it so that nobody can get past your defenses, it, there is a need to, to have boundaries. Ooh, it's very important because some 
Well, you're definitely, like, one of the options that is going to be before you is going to offer a best case scenario. There is another that's going to leave you out in the cold. I don't know if you have been out in the cold before, not had your needs bit before, dealt with some kind of poverty. Clarity on the Seven of Cups, Eight of Wands. I just feel like being like there's a lot of action and attention towards you, a lot of opportunities that you have. I think while you you do, I, I think you need to think about the long term because of the Three of Wands. What is going to help you best in the long term? Feel like being, because ultimately that is going to bring you a satisfying, happy ending, for lack of a better word or phrase. Ooh, star, wish fulfillment, healing. So I feel like. There's maybe like a lot of energy, a lot of attention, a lot of um, different offers that are available. And really best case scenarios are definitely on the board for you right now. But there is this place of lack. There is this place of loss. So let's talk about that. Ooh, Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is self-limiting beliefs and thoughts. I mean, often there are beliefs and thoughts that are given to us by other people, but we take as the truth. So we let them constrain us. I really think that in your upcoming decisions, even if you, you know, have been stuck in the past, even if you have had loss in the past, I think that you're really being asked to aim high. Like if you're looking for a new job, apply for ones that are above where you were expecting to go. If if you are, I just feel like there's really some kind of enormous best case scenario, but you need to not limit yourself and choose wisely. Empress, because you will be bringing a lot of abundance to you. The world for the second time. Success. Best possible scenario. I think that the part of you that says that, you know, there's nothing you can do, you're absolutely stuck, I think that that is not the voice that you should be listening to at this point. Or the one that t tells you to, like, yeah, I feel like you should be aiming really high in a long-term kind of way. And we have the two of cups. So there is going to be something that is emotionally fulfilling for you. It can be some kind of... I, it is going to be important, uh, like, maybe this is going to be a, you know, loving relationship. Maybe this is going to be some kind of financial partnership, some kind of creative partnership. Um, I think that's... You need to be careful of what your own illusions might be. 
but like think about like really truly what you want in the long term because it looks like you can make that happen and I feel like it shouldn't be from a lens of loss or self-limitation like I feel like I feel like aim as high as you want to go faith miraculously amazingly everything I need always comes love is opening me to receive beyond anything I imagine again the world twice best case scenarios look maybe you can't fully imagine how how well things are going to potentially move for you but I feel like you're being asked to have the faith that they can choose happiness constantly I feel like this one keeps getting pulled out for me today choose happiness choose success choose to think about what the long term is and and most important like choose wisely because again even though you're looking at the best case scenario there are other choices that you can make be strong be brave and be ready to be reborn with Okay, we've got Amigo and Friend. Uh, well, same thing, uh, like, but Amigo, Friend. What about the Friends? To, okay, I feel like there is some kind of actions that you, uh, that needs like there's a choice on actions regarding friends and friendship but um, move forward in a practical way with the with the bug and we have the letter K and the letter H and we have a sad face again like there might be I mean there might be a need to have some faith so you can move out of you know feel uh, feelings of that, that you are limited in some way yeah two of wands I put it in and take it back out I feel like there are things that you know you can do that are choosing happiness and maybe even like choosing some level of sadness as well because we have the sad face on the choice I feel like really when you're making decisions right now when you're making choices right now think about what's really going to be best for your long term I feel like you shouldn't be in just the immediate because I feel like what is going to pay off for you like it might take a little bit of time to make that pay off but it's going to pay off in a way that's bigger than you could probably imagine so this is a aim high kind of thing what do you want make the actions towards it and like give yourself the time for it to happen but i see success so even if maybe you're not feeling it at this point in time there is some kind of success for you very significant success success that is probably bigger than what you expect that success to be so start working towards it.
So I hope that this helps. Thank you so much. If you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two as soon as I hit 11,000 subscribers. Just make sure that you're subscribed and you comment and you're in the running for that. It's time for my gorgeous pile number fours. Pile number four is my gorgeous angels. What do you need to know right now? The hermit. The hermit is about self-knowledge. It can be about self-isolation. We have the page of coins. We have death. It looks like you're going through some kind of really significant transition in your life. And I feel like self-knowledge and strength and you know and baby steps with the page of coins oh okay we have the three of swords that has come out might have experienced some sort of heartbreak Ooh, and you experience some kind of heartbreak because of um, extreme conflict, maybe the dishonest actions of another person. We have the ten of one, uh, ten of pentacles that came out. I apologize. And the ten of pentacles on the hermit. I feel like. Regardless of the pain and the heartbreak that you have experienced, I feel like, and I feel like some of you really might feel like you're having to be strong and feeling kind of isolated. I mean, for some of you, you might have... Um, really gone into yourself but again it doesn't seem like it's entirely the wrong thing to do because it moves you towards some kind of long-term security success abundance clarity on the strength card ace of swords I, when i pulled that I, I feel like you're having to have the strength to to act on what you know is true, what you know is right, what you know is honest. And we have the Queen of Pentacles that came out. As much as, you know, this transition period it is not pleasant because Change isn't pleasant. Rebirth is not pleasant, even though there is a new beginning for you. Yeah, I feel like right now throughout the heartbreak that you're experiencing, it's just the time to put one, one practical action in front of the other. One. So let's talk about that Three of Swords, because it's come up twice, so... Your heartbreak has been significant. However, what you are moving towards is cooperation, collaboration, building something bigger than just yourself. Clarity on the Ten of Coins. Again, death, change, transition. I feel like you have been put in a position where the only option is change. So 
things aren't going to be like they were. However, just like the Three of Swords came out twice, the Death card came out twice, the Ten of Pentacles came out twice. So even though things are not going to be like they were, ultimately they are going to be more secure. More of a legacy, like a new beginning and honesty, clarity, transparency, a new beginning in love, in, in your emotional realm. Dropping a quarter of the uh, quarter of the cards. Yeah, feel like uh, some of you are going to have some kind of new beginning in love, but what you are moving towards is something that is secure, something that is abundant, um, something that there is cooperation, something where there's an emotional new beginning, something there where there is love, the choice to love and be loved. So I feel like maybe there's a need for you to hold on. while you're going through the endings, while you're going through all the heartbreaks. And allow yourself to move forward because moving forward is going to offer you security, is going to offer you abundance, is going to ha offer you happiness, is gonna offer you some kind of truth So it might be a lot for you to stay strong at this point in time. Help me know that all my deepest needs will be met. Let me trust that you have a plan and the right actions will come. You are my source for all, divine source. That even if you are on this this road and you feel maybe currently like you are on your own you aren't and divine source is with you divine source is moving to you towards your needs getting met we have Oshun and forgiveness no emotional beginning forgiveness I don't know if in your new emotional beginning you'll be able to forgive the past. Email. Be mindful of the messages that you send. I feel, I feel like it's important to be mindful, be careful about like what you're saying, what you're communicating at this time, especially if you're in a state of pain and a state of heartbreak. Achieve one thing that moves you toward a goal every day. It can be small, it all counts. Be mindful of your speech and just take one more step every day towards your goal. Because yes, everything has changed, but everything is moving forward. And I feel like everything is moving forward for you. Anything more for my gorgeous pile number fours? Seven of Pentacles. It can be about what's planted so that there can be a later what's planted so that it can pay off for later. Like maybe some of the payoff of you moving forward 
you're not going to receive immediately. But we have messengers with the birds. There could be some kind of angelic energy giving you some kind of messages. Ooh, and I feel like there's maybe a desire just not to lose. So there can be an energy of like holding on too tightly or holding back too much. But I think the, the point is to just keep moving forward. Because like even if what you have, what you end up isn't what you have, it's like it's moving you towards security. It's moving you towards abundance. It's moving you towards a legacy. It's moving you towards true abundance and success. We have abundance. We have rebirth. And we have a valuable connection. So things going on with you currently are probably not very comfortable. But that is because you are going through a state of rebirth. You are being reborn. You are in the cocoon. You are about to be a butterfly. But the transitionary period... The change from one way of being into another. It looks like you might be in the middle of that right now. So hold on. Keep going forward. And just because everything is going to be different doesn't mean that it's not going to be amazing, great, better. But don't, don't be so afraid of loss that you hold on to whatever isn't serving you. Give yourself the ability to just move forward. Know that on the other side there might be forgiveness. Know that on the other side that maybe you of other people, maybe other people for you. But yeah, just keep holding on. I wish you the absolute best. Thank you so much.